Hi there, today we're going to discuss the logging in and viewing of teacher and student resources in Think Central's Journeys, Houghton Mifflin Harcourt's reading program. So once I go to thinkcentral.com, I'm going to click on Reading and Language Arts and then the Journeys icon. And I'll select my state, my district, and my school. Once I've done that, I can click on Remember My Information, and from here on out, I shouldn't have to fill that in. I'm going to log in with the teacher uh, username and password that was provided to me by my district admin of the account, and click on Login. The first time I do this, it's going to take me to a screen that will ask me to complete three security password drop-down windows and questions. But once I'm into Think Central, I just click on Resources, and I can sort by subject. If I have more than one subject with Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, it would list more than just reading here. I can sort by grade level, and also I can sort by language. Okay, I really have time today to take you to just about three or so of my favorite resources. The first one, obviously, would be the Teacher Edition. So you just click on that Teacher Edition icon and select the unit you'd like to go to, and it opens up your Teacher Edition. This page for page is identical to your print version of your Teacher Edition. You can go to the Table of Contents and select where you'd like to go, or you can also type in your uh, page number down here on the bottom of the page if you'd like to do that. Once I found what I needed to uh, see in my teacher edition, I can just simply close that window and I'll have to close this window as well. Um, we should take a quick look at your student edition. So your student edition is going to be opened and accessed the same way as your teacher edition and this is what your students will be able to see when they log into their account. I'll uh, give you a view of that in just a minute. At any time in the student edition, I go to a page that has this icon activated up here. This would take you to your destination reading program. So if your district was able to get that as part of their adoption, this icon will be activated when you're in a lesson that has um, destination reading examples that go with it. Every time your students or you see this audio icon, of course, Meet the, the book will read to them. And photographer, George and again, when I'm done viewing this, I just simply close those windows. Let's take a look at your Teacher Edition Focus Wall, because really this is where you can find all of your resources with just one click. So as I tell the system that I want to go into my Lesson 2, and it loads the Focus Wall for me, I think you'll see the value in accessing your Focus Wall. Every item over here will provide specific resources based on that lesson we're in. So if I said I wanted to look at the online assessments, I could view them, I could schedule them, or I could assign them for just that specific lesson. Same with strategic intervention. It will take me to my uh, strategic intervention books or my write-in reader. I can actually open my write-in reader from right here. The beautiful thing about these write-in readers are not only will they read to you, but you can also click on this little icon here and you can slow the speed for that as it reads to your students. It also highlights or chunks the text as it reads to your students. So I just love these um, write-in readers. Let's close that and close this. So anyway, just know that whatever you click on in your focus wall will give you a variety of options available. This is going to open up in the student book. See the T here indicates it will open up in the teacher edition. So enjoy that focus wall. It's just really a powerful thing in, in uh, Think Central for you. The last thing I'd like to show you today is uh, how your students will access their resources in Think Central. They will log on exactly the way you did, so just instruct them to go to thinkcentral.com, click on reading, click on journeys, and provide the username and password to the system. And once they log in, this is what they'll see on their screen, and normally they'll just click on My Library, and here are all their resources that are available as well. Obviously, students may have assignments once teachers begin making assignments in Think Central. Enjoy this resource!